Okay, so let's solve some quadratic functions. And um, we got here x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. First, I want to factor this, equa this uh, trinomial. And um, I will do that by finding two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add up to positive 2. Well, if uh, I can't see that right away, I can make a factor tree for 15. And, uh, and that's pretty easy. We just basically break it down until we only have prime numbers. So for example, we look for uh, 15 is divisible by 3. So we divide it by 3. We'll put a 3 here. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Both are prime, so we're done actually. And this means that 15 can only be basically um, composed of 3 times 5. My voice is cracking today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Or 1 times 15. It looks like I'm a little kid writing, but it's because I'm writing with a mouse. I lost my pen. Um, so we put the x here and an x there because we want to get x squared. And we're going to basically unfoil this, right? Um, so the two numbers that can multiply to negative 15 and add up to 2 will actually be positive 3, oops, no, sorry, positive 5 and negative 3. Because that way, positive 5 plus negative 3 will give us positive 2. And they would multiply to negative 15. So, I'm going to put in a positive 5 here. Ooh, that barely looks like a 5, but <laughs> yeah, it is a 5. And a minus 3 over here. Great. So, I just, fa I just factored the trinomial. And I have x plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 0. And to solve it, it's easy. We're only looking for a number that will make this within the brackets equal to 0, and that'll be negative 5. And same thing here, whatever makes the bracket equal to 0, so x minus 3 is 0, what would that be? Positive 3. That's it. Negative 5 and positive 3 is the answer to this question.